Hello and welcome. In this night shift we want to see how to manipulate the bones of the new matcher. Um, we're gonna start that. And you see I got a mail here um, and we got uh, uh, the height function and we're going to say if the humor is greater or smaller. That's an example um, how to do that. And also, as you can see, the camera is moving with, so let's see, on face, body, face, if we manipulate the height and go in face uh, on body, it also does. It changes. So let's stop that. And let's look for a sec in our no let's start that again and you see here in our your player there is the Yuma data and in the data is the DNA and the DNA is are the values we want to manipulate for example if you see here the arms or the arm lengths so as you can see the stuff is ridiculous if you change the values too much it's just not well it could be for a beast or whatever you want to design uh, but uh, for a human uh, it's not uh, what we want to see there nobody wants to run around with stuff like whatever let's find something ridiculous feet size yes yeah, something like that so we have to clamp these values uh, into uh, reasonable uh, stuff for our human and a little bit it is already done in the Yuma DNA or the Yuma race you see here it's clamped and we want to go into these limits and uh, you could use these um, lists here but i think uh, we would like or i would like to use more something like this i got a name and the default value and the min value and a max value and so easy i can manipulate and know what's going on so for that let's open up uh, visual studio and first we go and make ourselves an new class I called it race value and there's just a string in it for the name and float for the default value and float for the min value and then float for the max value and then I created a list out of it so I can do an scriptable object you know how to do that already after that you go into your tools and add a menu item and go for a race value list and create race value list and stuff like that it's just plain out of the box as it comes and uh, so you are able to create uh, race value lists um, and then we go into our race and just add the race value list to our lists so it uh, is the same as we did the rest before and oh when you see these uh, eyebrow list and uh, body list it's the same than in the last video i just extended that for bodies and eyebrow lists um, so it's the same than the, uh, the face list we did in the last uh, tutorial um, here we go to our uma builder and uh, for the Uma Builder, I added uh, um, here in private uh, slider, height slider. Um, and we want to do this a little bit different today uh, than we had did before. Uh, to, before we went in our, let's go there. We went here and just dropped our slider here and we don't do that in this case so we got a variation of how to handle stuff and um, 
first of all, we go into the function init sliders and we um, get uh, my raise values. Well, so we get the list. So we need another um, uh, variable that's the private raise value list, which is the list of the values for this race gender. So we just go in for my race list dot list uh, race name to number dot uh, race dictionary my race gender and we want the values out of it if you see here in our list no there no sorry in our race we called it values and um, so we want the values out of that so here is just the other sliders we already know we don't want to see them now so we go to the body sliders and here we go and look for the high slider is the game object dot find and now we're going to get the string out of my race value list and we just go for zero dot name and so we have the name on it and we get the component slider so if we go for a sec and go in our canvas we uh, look for this item which has the name hide and in our database if we go in our human male race value you see the name hide so we want to look for that uh, item and uh, find it here of course you can do that in an, um, for or uh, while <clears throat> so uh, you fill that automatically. I just choose because it's an it's an, uh, just a builder. Uh, we don't use it any longer. Uh, when we have our character, I just copy that in and uh, I'm done with it. Um, <clears throat> of course, you can do that and uh, going for I here and going through the list and compare the names. And if you find something at that. But in our case, I just going uh, to set the min value, the max value, and the value to our uh, values we got in this list. And then we go for on change hide, uh, on hide change, sorry. And that's a function down here. It's an void on ch hide change. And we could look if we have an UMA DNA. So we are sure we have a generated UMA. And then we go on our height and set it to the slider value. And then we're going to do update UMA shape. And update UMA shape is just checking if we have a data. And then we go in uh, set to set the uh, shape to dirty. And then uh, going for the dirty command to rebuild the, our character. That's all basically. Uh, for this uh, uh, change of height of the um, UMA and um, if we go here in our height slider you see I used a different method uh, to call that before we called on uh, the update function and now we just uh, go here for uh, on change value and we're going for the player and going for uh, the UMA builder and on change on high change. So if the slider is moving or we move the slider, we have um, have the function called. So that's basically all for doing that. You just add more sliders for any value you want to use, and uh, of course, as I told, you can do that in in for own while to build that up and don't have to copy that all the time so for the cam buttons i went and um, got my uma data and uh, i got a game object player and in the start function i called my player so game object don't find player uh, so i cached that and in the update i looking for uh, player dot transform rotate and the new vector 3 and uh, the input axis uh, horizontal and uh, to speed it up a little bit you know that function from our mini 
mini character controller we had in the other uh, series. And so then we check um, if the UMA data is equal to null. If it's to null, we want to uh, get the component. Um, and um, if that fails, it will be in the next round to get uh, the UMA data. So since we don't know if the UMA is built already, um, we just uh, scroll here until it's done. If it's the case, we're going to our button state. You can go for in case, but I just choose to, because we only have three uh, if and as if. And there we going um, to replace this uh, value we had there before to my own that uh, dot uh, character height. And you just experiment with the variables you're happy with. Also, you could do and uh, do a little re uh, rotate of the camera. So um, you look from uh, top down a little bit to the chart. I didn't do that, but you're free, free to do that, of course. And uh, then we just delete the first line we had in the buttons and replace that with the button state. So that's all for what we do in this uh, video. And um, it's quite easy. You've got to start that again. And you see, if you want to add uh, some different stuff here, you just add that going for a function, going into your uh, list, and try to uh, uh, fill that with reasonable values. So we go for one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four or add the user going for bigger, give him a nice, something like that, save, and as you can see, he is a little bit greater than before. Let's walk to a door. Well, we could tune the value a little bit more. But I think he, the other character was like here, so the size of the Yuma is changing. If you had fun on this, uh, feel free to leave a like. If you like it more, leave a subscribe. And if you want to uh, support me, go to the, my Patreon page. And uh, hopefully today or tomorrow uh, I will up with the October special, which is the uh, database manipulation direct out of Unity. Um, so I would uh, love to see more there. And uh, so we close that up. Happy night shift. See you.